Hey guys, it's Inspiring for Nick here, uh, and today um, I'm going to do a redo video of an unboxing you guys haven't seen it yet. Just wanted to pop that out there. It was bad lighting, I didn't realize it at the time, but I went to go check it on my computer. It was bad. So, um, let's go ahead and get into this. Today is uh, the, Jan the January the 12th at 3.33 p.m. Home from school, decided to get it done. I did actually just unbox this, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over. This is the metallic slider case, the end case slider for the 3GS and the 3G iPhone. It is um, lightweight, construction, soft touch, and standard protection. Made by end case, this was like almost 40 bucks, it was like $36 at uh, Best Buy, but well worth it, as we, as we all know, great case, I don't have any end case letters for the touch anymore, so I really haven't used it that much in a while, because as you guys know, or some of you do, I did trade both my end case letters, <clears throat> so I don't have any for the touch, so I decided to pick one up for the 3G, this was the original case I'd picked up inside, inside of the DLO case, but DLO jam jacket, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up the other day, so let's go ahead and slide it out. Okay, really nice packaging, nice little plastic sleeve kind of thing they got going on. Way different from the um, original packaging, which I can't show you because I don't have it anymore. But pretty much you just take your case and pop it out. It's got this little kind of frame thing in the plastic, nothing underneath here. Although this white plastic does come up, just a little frame. No point in messing with that. Slide this back over. Hold on, guys. Um, give me a couple seconds. I'll be back. All right, guys. Well, I was going to go try and get my brother's iPhone to get a fit on it, but I don't know where it is, and I don't know where he is, and I want to get this video done. So pretty much go over what it looks like all around. Pretty much it's got that same soft touch, maybe a little bit different than that black in case letter I had for the touch. Got your volume rocker cut out, your headphone jack cut out, your home sleep wake button cut out and on the bottom speakers and 30 pin connector it's always go also on the inside you got your rubber rails and stuff and it does have that little groove for the volume rockers rockers i enjoy that no flash really anywhere great case i do love the in case sliders but guys i just wanted to make this a quick little video i would try it on but the case i have on my um iphone right now is way too hard to get off and i don't want to take the time to do it it's hard to get off it's even harder harder to get back on well not harder but it's just annoying to take off and on and i don't really feel like doing it so review for this coming up review for what i got on my phone right now coming up and review for the dlo case also um right now i am working on the unboxing for what i got on my phone right now like can't really tell you guys because this video has to go up before this is gonna be just a quick little two minute video it's just to pass the time i gotta review i gotta do um Working in Windows Movie Maker. I just wanted to show you guys Windows Movie Maker right quick for Windows 7. Alright. I'm running Windows 7 on the laptop. Let's see if we get a good look at Windows 7 there. It's really nice. Get my U torn out of the way really quick. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Just opening up Windows Movie Maker. It looks really nice. This is the new Windows Movie Maker that you get when you download Windows 7. And this is that unboxing video for what I, the case I have on right now. It's just great. Um, I, there's no complaints about it. This is so so much better than the old Windows Movie Maker. This is more like the iMovie in your Mac than anything because as you guys can see, you got your little, your entire movie is laid out here. You can cut crop and you guys can see I've gotten all these cut pieces right here that, that I've had mistakes in videos. And that was a lot harder in the old Windows Movie Maker. But this, I can cut out any mistakes I may have made during the video it's way easier I'm not gonna say it's better than iMovie because I'd definitely rather iMovie than this but um it's, it's pretty good so um go ahead and get out of here guys see you guys later just wanted to show you guys that quick little um thing in Windows Movie Maker because I thought it was pretty cool I don't know so you guys can comment about that see you guys later peace